Between Mars and Jupiter, there is a large void, an area to study that astronomers enjoy. A gap with a ring made up of millions of planetoids, or also known as a belt of asteroids. Hurtling through space in their orbit around the sun, these large irregularly shaped rocks have a lot of fun. Made up of different rocks and metals, each asteroid is unique. Let's go out and find some and see who we can meet. Let's go meet the asteroids. They're oddly shaped rocks. They're not spheroids. Careening through space mm. in an expansive void. Most of them won't hit us, so don't be paranoid. Let's go meet the asteroids. Let's go meet the four largest known asteroids. My name is Ceres, the largest asteroid to be discovered. But now I'm classified as a dwarf planet. My true self has been uncovered. I'm the largest known object in the asteroid belt. It's true. I have a good atmosphere that could contain water vapor from my surface, too. My name is Vesto, one of the four largest asteroids known. I have a unique surface like that of terrestrial worlds long ago. My surface used to be very active and was covered in lava flows. I have a huge impact crater so deep that my inner mantle is exposed. My name is Paulus, the second asteroid discovered after Ceres. I have an eccentric inclined orbit and I'd want it differently. I'm the asteroid IG, but scientists discovered that I'm low, which means I'm quite weak. Let's go meet the asteroids. They're oddly shaped rocks. They're not spheroids. Careening through space in an expansive void. A collision with one is something Earth should avoid. Let's go meet the asteroids. Let's go and meet some more asteroids. I'm Ida. I'm special because I have a friend at my side. His name is Dactyl. I'm old, and he's only about a mile wide. We travel in the asteroid belt together. It's good to have a friend beside me. There are hundreds of other asteroids that have moons or are binary. I'm Benno. I don't live in the asteroid belt. I orbit between Earth and Mars. I'm known as a near-Earth asteroid because from Earth I'm not that far. NASA's Osiris transmitted to me in 2018 and made a discovery. Mm -hmm. I should know plumes of dust that create a haze around me. I'm Itokawa, and I'm a near-Earth asteroid too. I might collide with Earth someday, but we've got about a million years. I do. I'm the first asteroid for which actual samples were taken from me. Now they're back on Earth for scientists to study. Asteroids range in size from really large to really small. But if you measure the mass of each asteroid and headed up them all, the entire mass of all the asteroids in the asteroid belt combined is less than the mass of our moon Luna. It totally blows my mind. Not all the asteroids in the solar system are in the asteroid belt. There are near-Earth asteroids inside the belt and other groups further out. Made up of different rocks and metals, each asteroid is unique. Let's go and find some more and see who else we meet. Let's go meet the asteroids. They're oddly shaped rocks. They're not spheroids. Careening through space in an expansive void. Most of them won't hit us, so don't be paranoid. Let's go meet the asteroids. Let's go meet some more asteroids. Asteroids. Let's go meet we're binary asteroids. We're not from the asteroid belt, but further out from the asteroids. We share Jupiter's orbit in outer near around the sun. It's a much longer orbit than the asteroid belt, but together it's lots more fun. That's how we go mass from the asteroid belt or Trojan's island beyond us. I'm a member of an asteroid class known as Cephars between Saturn and Uranus. I'm also very unique because of the very special feature you see. I'm the first asteroid to be discovered with rings. I have two around me. I'm the asteroid with Albus, I'm the asteroid with the 1929, but don't worry, I'm the I just want to say hi. Let's go meet the asteroids. Let's go and meet the asteroids.